Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use instant exchanges in order to purchase and or trade your cryptocurrencies. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is decide which instant exchange we want to use. And there are uh, two big ones. There's an article here that uh, I've, I will link down in the description, which kind of goes through the two big ones, Changely versus Shapeshift, uh, as opposed to you know the fees they charge, uh, how easy they are to use, that sort of thing. So I invite you to sort of check that out and you can decide for yourself which one you think is uh, more appropriate to your use case. In uh, today's case, what I want to do is exchange Ethereum for Stellar. So uh, my first concern is which one supports Stellar and which one doesn't. All right, so we're going to check out Changely. And OK, so I have ETH and I can exchange it for Stellar uh, XLM. And uh, you can see down here all the cryptocurrencies that they support. So uh, Changely supports uh, Ethereum and Stellar. Those are the two that I want. So uh, we can go over here and just check out Shapeshift. And Shapeshift uh, has a nice little interface too. I want to start with Ethereum. So I'll just click on that and uh, there they go. They got Ether, but do they have Stellar? And I can search up here by name, doesn't appear, or by uh, ticker symbol but they don't have Stellar so in this case for me I'm going to use uh, Changely because it supports the uh, exchange that I am trying to make I want to I have some ETH and I want some Stellar so uh, I'm going to use uh, Changely and I would advise you uh, first and foremost that uh, if you're going to exchange one cryptocurrency for another make sure that you have wallets for both it's probably not the best idea to spend your cryptocurrency from a cryptocurrency exchange account because if something were to go wrong and they were need to refund you it may not work properly when they try to refund your cryptocurrency back to your exchange account uh, a bit risky in that sense uh, because uh, cryptocurrency exchanges may change the receiving addresses periodic we don't know uh, now if we have our own wallet then uh, we know that that uh, receiving address will always be stable so my advice is to start with a cryptocurrency that you have in your own wallet and exchange it for a cryptocurrency that you'll be sending to another wallet that you control all right so the first thing we uh, want to decide is how much we're willing to spend and uh, we can go to Changely. As you can see, I've already put in my amount there. So uh, I'm willing to spend 0.3 ETH, and uh, they've indicated to me that I'll get 377 uh, Stellar for that exchange. So now that I've decided that, I need to tell them where to put my uh, Stellar. So I need to get a Stellar address. So as you can see, when we move to the next uh, they're confirming the amount of the transaction. I'm going to uh, confirm there that I uh, agree to all their terms. And it's going to take 5 to 30 minutes. And we'll hit next. And now they want my Stellar address. So how are we going to get that? We're going to go over to the Stellar website. And we're going to log into my Stellar wallet so that I can get my receiving address. Usually when we do uh, transactions for cryptocurrency, we always want to generate that receiving address. That is where we're sending our cryptocurrency to. I for one, I'm currently using a Ledger Nano S. So I've entered my PIN on my Ledger Nano S. All right, and now what I want to do is I want to get into the Stellar app. It's a little bit difficult to read here, but I'm just going to go over to Stellar. I'm going to hit both buttons. All right, and then once I've done that, I will uh, enter the ledger option here on the Stellar Wallets page. I'm going to use the account viewer, and as you can see, this little sign in with ledger is blue down here because I have entered the Stellar app on my device. 
All right, and there is my public key for my Stellar wallet. So I'm just going to take that. All right, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go back over here to Changely and paste in that address. All right, and uh, so for Stellar, do I need a memo ID or do I not need a memo ID? Uh, let's go back over here to my Stellar wallet. And it says add memo. So uh, for the personal Stellar wallet, it's an option. If you were st uh, sending Stellar to maybe a vendor or a centralized exchange that uh, requires a memo, then uh, you would uh, generate the memo. Uh, but we're not. We're sending it back to our own wallet, so we don't need the memo. We just need the address. All right, so I'm going to remove that memo ID. I don't need it. And then I'm going to hit Next. All right, make sure that the wallet does not require a memo, and it does not. I've sent Stellar to that wallet many times without using uh, a memo field, so I know I'm aware that I don't need it. All right, so uh, we're going to confirm and make the payment. All right, now we need to send the 0.3 ETH to the address below. So I'm going to go into my Ethereum wallet, which is also uh, the private keys of that wallet are on my ledger as well. All right, so I will show you from here. It's a little easier. Uh, you don't get that background. We need to exit the Stellar app. So we'll exit the Stellar app using both buttons. All right, and then we'll go over to our Ethereum wallet and hit both buttons. All right, and now that we've entered our Ethereum wallet, we can check in Ledger Live our Ethereum account, and we're going to choose uh, Send. And where are we going to send to? We're going to send to that address that Changely just gave us. All right, so we're going to copy the address that Changely has generated for us for an Ethereum address. Uh, we'll paste that address in here. All right, and they want us to make sure that that address is correct. So it starts with an OX and ends with a 65A. Uh, looks pretty good. Just eyeball the whole thing if we want to. I'm confident that that's it. And I'm going to send my 0.3 Ethereum over, right, which is about $83 worth of Ethereum. So uh, we'll hit continue. All right, and we've got the Ethereum app open already. So I'm just going to hit continue. And then it wants me to confirm. All right, so I've got a uh, confirmation here. I'm just going to and make sure that that address matches. All right. So I'm going to hit the little button over the check, and it sent the transaction. It's very good. And then we'll uh, just view details here. And uh, we can see that we've sent the uh, Ethereum. I've got a transaction ID, and then I've got the Ethereum address that I'm sending from, and the Ethereum address that I'm sending to. All right, and I can go over here to Changely, and I got a Changely transaction ID. So uh, we'll just wait a few minutes and we can just kind of keep an eye on this. And there's no other arrows or buttons to hit. So the ball is in their court now. Uh, I've already uh, sent my transaction their way. And so we'll just wait. All right. And now it is switched over to waiting for payment. So we can sort of watch the uh, progress of our transaction going through. And uh, basically, it looks like they've uh, received the uh, transaction. Uh, now they're just confirming. Uh, because this is part of how cryptocurrency works. Uh, there, there need to be confirmations so that uh, they can avoid the double spend problem, which means that I could... Uh, perhaps try to send them this transaction and then while it's pending try to spend the same Ethereum somewhere else and that's why we go through this confirmation progress on the blockchain. So we'll just wait for that. Uh, once we see that the confirmation process has begun we can uh, rest assured that we have sent our Ethereum to the correct address. Otherwise it would still be waiting uh, for us to send. So uh, don't panic when you see the uh, confirmation process. This is normal. 
Uh, it does take a little bit, but uh, that is for everyone's security, <laughs> everyone's safety and security. And there you can see it ticked up a bit. All righty, so uh, the transaction uh, has confirmed on their end. And so now that they've officially received my Ether and uh, they've verified that they uh, have the funds, they become spendable after the confirmation process. And so now they're going to go ahead and run the exchange. They're exchanging my Ethereum for Stellar. Okay, and now the exchange process is uh, completed and they're now sending to the wallet. And so we could probably double check our wallet over here. And uh, there we go. Uh, my balance has been updated uh, in my wallet. So now I'm uh, the proud owner of some new Stellar uh, that I used uh, my Ethereum to change over with. So let's take a look here and see how this process plays out. All right, and so then they uh, finish up and uh, it did happen pretty fast. You remember the estimate was five to 30 minutes. It took a bit more than five minutes, but a lot less than 30 minutes. I would say it was probably about seven minutes approximately uh, between the time that I uh, funded the transaction and the time that it was completed. And then they give us a lot of uh, information here. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, uh, a stickler, you might want to save this somewhere. So I believe we could cut and paste this into a Word document fairly simply. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so uh, there you have it if you want to save it. All right, and so that was pretty quick and easy. I didn't have to set up an account. Uh, here are some of the advantages to using the uh, instant exchanges. I don't have to go through a whole uh, account setup process. I don't have to uh, provide ID and verification and all of those things. All I really need is uh, a cryptocurrency to fund the transaction and an empty wallet for my target uh, cryptocurrency. So uh, simplifies things a bit. Now some of the disadvantages to the instant exchanges are uh, since they are uh, sort of uh, decentralized, uh, their customer support may not be as good as the more centralized exchanges. Uh, so you might uh, have some of that uh, that might be a problem for some people, but by and large, it's pretty nice. And one another, another thing that I will point out is if I use a centralized exchange like uh, Bittrex or Binance, if I have ETH and I want Stellar, that's pretty straightforward. But suppose I don't have ETH. Suppose I have something like Monero or suppose I have something like Dash and I would like to trade that for uh, Stellar. Well, if I were to do it on a centralized exchange, I would have to deposit my Dash on the exchange, if they even supported Dash. Then I would have to sell my Dash for one of their trading pairs that I could use to buy Stellar, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Tether, or something of that nature. In other words, it's a little more complicated. It would have to be a, a three-step process instead of a two-step process. So that's another nice little feature when you use these uh, instant exchanges is that you can trade uh, s strange bedfellows, right, that aren't necessarily related to each other. So that's kind of interesting. And like uh, I demonstrated, it's pretty quick too. So there you have it, uh, a quick transaction. If you have any questions about what I did, please throw them up in the comments section. I'll do my best to get back to you. And I hope you uh, were entertained and educated at the same time. I would like to point out that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from L.A. Uh, I invite you to join, uh, sit back and relax, and throw out any questions that you have and join the discussion. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. If you're watching on Steemit, please give me uh, an upvote. And 
Whenever you subscribe on YouTube, there's a little bell that allows you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.